I want to make a few videos that can show you how to make base meshes uh, for some safety glasses. Uh, here, these would be fairly quick. Uh, these would, would just be for model studies, uh, just basic form and color studies uh, for these. So, um, yeah, and I'll make something that's similar uh, to what we have uh, here. All right, so I'm start with you know, this base head uh, here, and then uh, to make a piece that fits in with this. I'm going to come to, uh, I'm trying to come up here uh, and, oops, sorry, uh, pick a uh, cylinder, primitive, and yeah, here we go. And uh, while it's still in its uh, initialized state, and close view of this, yeah, here we go. Um, let's turn on polyframe and we'll crank the inner radius out quite a bit. So it gets fairly thin. That looks pretty good. Uh, and then I'm going to crank the height down a bit. I'm getting something that looks you know, that's looking okay. And I can adjust this once I get it in uh, with the head. Uh, and this increase the uh, horizontal divides till it looks like you know, getting good square polygons uh, on there. Uh, and then, you know, this is looking pretty good. So. From there, I'm just going to make that a polymesh 3D, and then click on my tool, come back to my uh, the head that I have, and from here, I'm just going to insert, you can insert or pin, uh, yeah, subtool, there we go, and then just pick that uh, cylinder that I just made, and let's pick it, and so you can see it, you know, it needs a little adjusting here relative to the head, and that's okay, let's just get on top of it. Uh, and then just gonna come down to my geometry, uh, the uh, size, and let's just crank the X, Y, Z size down a little bit till it you know, starts to you know, kind of show up there with the head. That looks pretty good. And then let's see how the height's doing. Yeah, it looks pretty good too. So get my move tool. Positioned here, get it you know, roughly centered around around the eyes if you need to. Um, look not so look, but transparent. You need to see the eyes uh, in there. It's okay. So get this centered up on those. That looks pretty good. Pretty good up here. Yeah, it's all you know, looking quite good. So let's trim it out uh, now and then. Uh, you know, kind of cut it so that it, you know, get a little bit better geometry out of it. So to do that, uh, I'm going to hold down Control Shift and then pick the uh, trim curve brush, and I'm just going to hold down again, come back here a little bit past here, Control Shift, draw up, and if I need to move that line, hold down the space bar. I'm going to move it till it's just a little bit behind the ear. Let go, and that looks pretty good. Straight lines trim like you would expect uh, with this, but uh, you'll notice when we now trim the rest to get you know, kind of the, the curvilinear parts of this uh, that it doesn't do you know, quite as you know, good a job. It's just going to it's going to act like the slice brush, but but that's fine. Um, so again, holding down Control and Shift, and we'll start back here uh, for the bows, and maybe a little bit above the top here. Uh, and I'm going to start the line just, and then let go of the shift key, but I'm still holding down the control key. And once it gets out to a uh, certain part here, uh, let's try it right in here. I'm going to tap the alt key and let it curve some, and then I'm going to bring it up here near the front, tap the alt key again, and then turn it down a little bit like that. Yeah, and there you can see it. It, it didn't really trim it, it just sliced it. Uh, and then I'm going to repeat the process down here on the on the bottom. Uh, hold down Control Shift, start the line going. Hold down Spacebar if I need to reposition it. Uh, let's see, let's get it out to about right. And let's start kind of low. Yeah, to about right there. Let's tap the Alt key, curve up. Tap the Alt key again. And let it come out past the back there. Let's see how that looks. You know, it's not too bad. I'm not liking how close in that is, so let's undo 
back to that. Might help to start up here, so let's go into it. Oh. Better to have a little more geometry to work with than not enough. That's pretty good. Yeah, much better. So what I want to do now uh, is isolate out these uh, new groups that uh, I have and then delete every, everything else. So I'm going, to, I'm going to hold down Control Shift, click on those uh, to get that. Actually, let's do it the other way. Uh, let's hold down Control Shift click on that, hide those now, hold down control shift and alt and oops, I'm sorry, I need to switch to my hold down control shift, switch to the select rec, hold down control shift alt, drag out here to reverse those. Now I can hold down control and shift and click on these other polygroups to hide those. So I want to hide everything except these pieces that I want to make the geometry. Uh, and then from there uh, I'll do this once uh, over here in this menu and then I'll use my custom menus uh, to do it at other times. So modify topology, delete hidden. Uh, if you want to do it, if you have my custom menus installed, you can tap K and delete hidden. Alright, so those are deleted. So again, let's tap K and pick the uh, Z modeler brush or you could just hit B, Z, and M uh, to get it. Uh, and I want to mouse in to over an edge right click on that and tell it we want to close uh, concave hole is fine uh, and then just pick an edge up here on one of the concave holes and that closes that off let's pick one down here and let's close that off so that's looking good we've got you know, the geometry uh, for that now let's do a little modifying of it to get those uh, in and again i'm going to switch to my move tool uh, let's click it so that it's you know, out here in the center uh, off the center and then you know, from the outside here I'm just going to click hold and on that and drag in and then hold shift to constrain it in just enough to get you know, those pieces in uh, a little bit better and you know, wrapping around the head a little better and that's pretty good maybe move it out a little bit at the center hold down shift slide it out just, I don't want to go too far I don't want to get too far off that nose alright that's looking pretty good it's all looking good. We've got a little bit of interpenetration uh, here on the back. So let's see, let's mask off a little bit of the end uh, here. And then um, let's hold down control and soften that a little bit. And then click, hold down control and click outside to invert that a little bit. And I may need to adjust the masking on this. And again, let's switch back to the move tool. Let's get it going this way. Grab this in, and shift. And yeah, it's going to kink it uh, just a bit. So let's see what I'm going to do. Back to that. Uh, let's see. Don't need to mask as much. So maybe, maybe not right here. And let's really soften it. And again, switch back to the move tool. And it's just kinking it. right up there to the end and then start the start hold the control and click it a few times to soften it and then to the move tool there we go yeah it's working pretty good and just get those out a little bit and then let's clear the mask and while we've got it um, let's click here and drag it in let's get it back in just a little bit and then let's fix those points right up in here so Let's see, let's solo this so we can just see that little bit. Let's let's go on that little bit and then invert that. And again, well, we've got a move tool here. We'll just draw a line and move those in a little bit. All right, that's looking pretty good. 